in the United States begins high in the San Juan Mountains near Crete, Colorado. These mountain peaks range from 10,000 to nearly 14,000 feet high and receive nearly 350 inches of snow each winter. Add to this winter snowfall the spring and summer rains, then multiply it by 8,000 square miles, and you have a huge water source that sustains the Rio Grande year after year. As the river rushes east through southern Colorado, it follows the path of least resistance, flowing between mountains as it tumbles down from high elevations. When the Rio Grande reaches Alamosa, Colorado, it turns south towards New Mexico. As the Rio Grande flows south, it enters a geologic formation called the Rio Grande Rift. Rifts are a series of cracks in the Earth's surface that result from pressures deep in the Earth pushing upward. These pressures cause the Earth's crust to arch upwards, weaken and spread it apart, very similar to how cracks form in the crust of a loaf of bread as it rises during baking. The canyons created by the Rio Grande Rift average 30 miles in width and continue to widen today. This rift began forming about 29 million years ago and runs from Leadville, Colorado, through New Mexico and into the Mexican state of Chihuahua. Most rifts occur on the ocean floors. The Rio Grande Rift is one of only three major rifts in the world that occurs on dry land. The first major river in New Mexico that flows into the Rio Grande is the Red River. This river flows out of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains north of Taos, an area that also receives high snowfalls and contains Wheeler Peak, the highest point in New Mexico. The Red River joins the Rio Grande at an elevation of 6,600 feet. Here, the Rio Grande cuts its deepest gorge, 850 feet below the surrounding mesa. For the next 35 miles, the Rio Grande tumbles through a photogenic, boulder-filled canyon creating dramatic whitewater rapids enjoyed by rafters and kayakers. 25 miles north of Santa Fe, at an elevation of 5,600 feet, the Rio Chama flows into the Rio Grande. Also a river with its headwaters in southern Colorado, the Chama is popular with rafters and kayakers as it flows gently through colorful desert scenery. Abiquiu Dam on the Rio Chama helps regulate the water flow into the Rio Grande to reduce the chance of flooding. Northwest of Cochiti Lake is Valles Caldera, the remains of a 14-mile diameter volcano. This volcano was a direct result of the upward-pushing magma below the Earth's surface that formed the Rio Grande Rift. This massive volcano erupted one million years ago and ejected billions of tons of rock and ash into the air. After blasting out all that material from deep in the earth, the center of the volcano collapsed, leaving behind the surrounding slopes, which are now called the Hemis Mountains. Ash and rock that spewed from the Valles Caldera fell back to the ground to form thick layers of light tanned stone called tuff. This soft stone comprises much of the landscape you see in northern New Mexico. It is so soft that more than 800 years ago, native people carved rooms into it. Remnants of a major native homeland can be visited at Bandelier National Monument. Just west of Cochiti Lake is Tent Rocks National Monument, where thousands of years of erosion have carved the volcanic tuff into slot canyons and strange cone shapes. The first dam on the wild, free-flowing Rio Grande is here at Cochiti, where the river is at an elevation of 5,340 feet. The dam was completed in 1975 to prevent flooding in Albuquerque, like that which occurred in the 1940s and 1950s. The river valley beginning at Cochiti Dam and extending south to Elephant Butte Dam is known as the Middle Rio Grande Valley. Throughout the Middle Rio Grande, the riverbanks are often lined with cottonwood and willows. Early Hispanic explorers called this fertile land the bosque, meaning woods in Spanish. 
The wetlands and vegetation along this section of the river attract tens of thousands of migratory waterfowl each year. The ribbon of lush green bosque vegetation is visible from miles away in the tan landscape of central and southern New Mexico. The Jemez River drains much of the mountains that surround Valles Caldera and joins the Rio Grande 20 miles north of Albuquerque. On this river is the first dam built to help prevent flooding in Albuquerque. Completed in 1954, Jemez Canyon Dam is a dry dam, holding water only when flooding could occur downstream if the water was allowed to flow freely. After the Rio Grande is joined